I'm sorry for hitting okay. you in the face with the girl light. Hit me in the head, not the face. I'm sorry for hitting you in the head with the girl light. It's okay. You drastically underestimate my eggnog drinking skills. Welcome to another video. Today we are going to be testing vegan eggnog. What do you think about that? I like eggnog and I like vegans. <laughs> so maybe it'll be good. Alright, first up we have Almond Breeze Almond Milk Nog. That's exciting. 70 calories. We're gonna try this. Because we care about that. Yeah. Oh, overkill if we're tasting. Jeez. Hold on, no, just don't. You know what? You said that you wanted. Yeah, but if we're doing a taste test, I don't want to fill up on the first one and I'm not gonna be able to taste the other ones. There you go. Okay. Done. Fine. Cheers. Hey, you can't taste it first. Cheers. It's got the right consistency. I like that one, it's not too thin. No, yeah, it's, it's pretty close. Most almond milk is really thin, but that one's good. Pretty close on consistency, so not bad, not bad. It's pretty sweet. Okay. Color's on point. Color, yeah, color's great. That looks really good. All right, nog number two. <laughs> Revenge of the egg nog. <laughs> Silk nog. Original. I wonder if there's other flavors if this is the original one. We'll find out. Alrighty then. Okay. It's really good anyway. I have faith in it. I have, oh. oh, there goes my faith. You know what? I, I have faith in lots of vegan things. Usually they turn out to be disappointments. Alrighty, you ready? Cheers. You don't think, you don't like this one already. I can tell by your face. Okay. It's really thin. Yeah, it is. It has the flavoring. Yeah, it tastes Not it. the consistency, and it's really sweet. Which is what eggnog's supposed to be. Ugh. Well, it's supposed yeah. to be like. Anyway. You're ruining my video. I'm cleaning up the mess because. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next one. Number three. What? Return of the eggnog. <laughs> Are you Star Wars referencing this? I don't know. This is so delicious. Holiday Nog. Holiday Nog. So. Let's see if it's so delicious. Oh, it's thicker. Ooh, consistency is about right. And I would like to point out. No, it is fine. I'm sorry. I would like to point out that um, apparently I can pour without spilling. Oh, please. You took forever. I'm the queen of speed, is what I am. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> All right, cheers. Ooh, I like that one better. I think that's my favorite one so far. Whoa, I don't like the aftertaste. It's like coconut aftertaste. A little bit, which coconut milk. Makes sense. But it's I not mean, bad. it's good. I like coconut. I don't get me wrong. I love coconut, but coconut's not supposed to be an eggnog. Next, we have number four. More holiday nog almond milk. Almond milk. Holiday this is the cleanest almond. one, I think, ingredients-wise. 
I like this brand because it's the cleanest. She likes it clean. I like Sorry. it thick and dirty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, you ready for this? Yes. Can I part without making a mess? <gasps> Color is better on this one. Is it bad? Well, it almost looks too yellow. Too yellow. Yeah, just a touch. But all right. Then. <laughs> yeah, we have a clear winner. That was good. I put that one in our oat milk today. You don't like it? It'll be good to make vegan French toast. Right. Vegan eggnog French toast. And may or may not bring about the um, regurgitation of the other three by the end of the night. What the heck? Let me see. Ginger. I'm just gonna pour this They don't even this. have it. Ginger and nutmeg, that's all they have in here for spices. Yeah, okay, well, whatever. Okay, anyway. wait. We have to rate them and then you can have more. This one's number one. For real? Yup. Good, you can drink that one. This is my number one. For sure, clear winner. So right consistency. It's not the right consistency. This one? It's pretty close, it was pretty close. This one was beautiful. Was May pretty. I add, 250 at, the, at Smith's, 250 at Smith's, 250 at Smith's. This one costs like $4.50 or $5 at Well, let's take Target. a brief moment to look at 48 fluid ounces. Okay, I know, I'm just saying, okay, I know, I know this one has more, and I'm not saying that the price, I'm just saying, usually these are each $5, and I found them for $2.50, and I'm pretty proud of myself because they were on sale, and nobody wants to buy all the milk here, or eggnog, whatever, <laughs> vegan eggnog, yeah. so I'm going to buy it all, that's why I did this, so I think it's great. Number one, nope, I lied, number five, can you count? Number four. Sorry, I don't get to judge my life. It's been a long day. Okay. Ratings. Um, yeah, so out of four. This out of four. Number four. Mm -hmm. Bottom of the totem pole. The almond milk colored in nog. It's garbage, that's why. It's just horrible. I don't think it's that bad. Tell that to my stomach and my soul. Why? Um, this breaks the holiday season for me. Never again. Okay, number three. Well, no, what's your, what's your number four? This one. <laughs> if you're gonna do, what? You can go. <laughs> no. Okay, that's fine. All right, that's fine. That one is number four for me because the consistency was good. It tasted good for like half a second, and then after that, it was just, here's some coconut and no eggnog. Like, it tastes fine, but the aftertaste threw me for a loop. Eggnog's not supposed to have a coconut aftertaste. Yeah, it's not supposed to taste like lightly seasoned almond water. But anyway, okay. That, okay, whatever. Number four. All right, number three. Go for it, what's your number three? This one. Okay. Why? Because it's like lightly seasoned almond water. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's really not that bad. I think I would, I don't think I would drink it. Um, <laughs> it's not that bad. It would never be inside my body. Ever. No, I'm just saying like, I would love to make a vegan French toast with that or like I added it to our pumpkin spice oatmeal you can see on Instagram. Um, and so, it's like a subtle enough flavor, and it's watery enough that you could water things down with it and still get that holiday flavor, but it's just, it's not the right consistency to drink. Nope. Okay, my number three. Okay. Three. Sorry. Okay, cool. It was pretty good-ish, but not that great. The jump between these two, though, is significant. If I could give this a 10, I'd give it a 10. Not a 10 out of 10 in positive things like the... It's... Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that would be 
Why? Because it's, I think, I'm trying to remember. Do you if need to taste was, some more? This one was super watery, if I remember. But I For a little wrong. bit. Yeah. That's the super watery one. The consistency was not very good. But the... <laughs> The flavor was okay, and so... Mm, that one's good. Yeah. Alright, that was my number three. Yeah, the flavor tastes way better. Mm -hmm. Um, that's my number two, actually. You don't get a jump. What's your number three? I already did my number three. What did you? Oh. Yeah, four, three, two. That's right. So I'm sure you guys can guess what my number one is. <laughs> but no, this is my number... Two. Two. I really, really loved the flavor of this. If it was a little bit thicker, it'd be my favorite. Mm. Um, but sometimes I don't really like thick things. <laughs> my number two. <laughs> okay. Is the Almond Breeze. It was pretty good flavor, pretty good consistency. Not quite everything that I wanted, but it, for the first one that we drank, it was a good one to start out on, because I was genuinely surprised. I thought, oh, okay, this isn't the worst thing in the world. I was expecting something horrible. And well, like was, the eggnog taste test, or no, the yogurt one was awful. awful. So this is a step up, right? It's, yeah, moving in the right direction. Good. Okay. So for my number one. You're so crazy, that was disgusting. I think it's great because, let me illustrate for you. Consistency. Oh yeah, oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, mm. stop, stop, stop. Perfect consistency. Marvelous. Yeah, it does what it does what eggnog's supposed to do. You see the little swirling? And sticks to the glass. Yeah, it's nice and thick. Smells festive. <laughs> It's got all the right seasoning, season, season. Yeah, like coconut, which has nothing to do with Christmas. It's which is fine. In... I didn't even taste. You're sh we're trying to shout over each other. <laughs> I didn't even taste the coconut, honestly. So it's fine. Like the first part is okay. It's just the last, the aftertaste. Just wait for it. The aftertaste does change a bit, but I still wouldn't think. Oh yeah, that's coconut. It's 100% you know. coconut. My number one, almond breeze almond milk nog because look at this consistency that's even thicker than yours no but yeah and yeah, it sticks good. to the side of the glass it does and mm, and it doesn't taste like coconut afterwards because it's good I won't give it another whirl the good news is, since this is your number two, we can agree on buying this one in the future. Yeah, but there are no, there, see, yeah, that's the problem, is there just no, there's no seasoning in it. It doesn't taste like eggnog. Here's At least idea. that starts. Mix them. Let's I have an them. idea. Okay. This one had a lot of flavoring, right? But it was too thin. This one is really thick. And has no flavoring. And has a little bit, it, it has flavoring. Just add some nutmeg to it. And. I think we have a clear winner here. It's not bad. <laughs> right? No, uh, yeah. I have an idea. Why don't we just make our own dang eggnog? I like that idea. This is, Let's do this, that. Is, this is the conclusion after I do any of these taste test videos. I'm like, oh, I could make it this way and make it taste better. Because apparently we're awesome. No, apparently we just know how to cook for our taste buds. So, all in all, it was really good, great. 
test, taste test here, we've got several options that, you know, if you're newly vegan or interested in doing that, or just, you know, want to be chumming it with your vegan friends for the holidays, there are options. It's a clear winner, though. Almond breeze. <laughs> hey, I think it's the best, and... It is the one that we can agree on. Yes. And so, Almond Breeze is great. If you don't mind tasting a little bit of coconut, this is the strongest upfront flavor there is, in my That's opinion, true. reminiscent of actual eggnog. Um, but yeah, really, they're all good. Good job to everyone out there making vegan eggnog for us vegans to celebrate the holiday season. Yay. Yay. All right, thanks guys for tuning in. Yes. Keep watching our videos. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up because you thumbs don't know if that's cool. Fun things like that. Check us out on Instagram. Yes. You know. Okay, happy holidays. We'll see you later. You rinse those cups out. <laughs>